Hello and welcome. In this video, we will look at three things. How to download the Lockdown Browser, how to use the Lockdown Browser and how to attend a Lockdown Browser test. First, let's see what happens if we don't install the Lockdown Browser and try to answer a Lockdown Browser test. So, we click on the test everything looks okay but then we understand we can't access the test because it asks for a password so let's try to download the lockdown browser and attend the exam we will see how to download the lockdown browser to download the lockdown browser open your blackboard on the home page you find the link for downloading the responders lockdown browser once you click on that it takes you to the download page under jubail industrial college click on install now it has started to download click on yes once you do that it will try to set up the lockdown browser on the device it is preparing to download just wait the lockdown setup file is downloaded on the device. Open that file. It tries to set up again. Please accept the license agreement and click next. Now the installation starts. Select the language English and then click next. It's preparing the setup. Click on finish to complete the download. You can now find the Lockdown Browser on your desktop or on your device. To access the test, you need to open the Lockdown Browser. Let's see how to use the Lockdown Browser. Now, open the Lockdown Browser on your desktop. Please wait for the Lockdown Browser to open. It has started to load. Please close process to close any other applications. Again, you get a message that it's uploading. This will take you to the Blackboard login screen. Please type in your username and password. Click on the community tab to access the tests. Find your assessment course and click on that. Now, let's see how to attend a lockdown browser test. Find your assessment course and click on that. The test instructions open. Please read before you start the exam. Click on begin to start the exam. The first step is to click on agree to the terms of use. The second step is to give a smile and check the webcam. If everything is okay, please click on yes. Watch the 5 second video to make sure the video and the audio was recorded properly and then click continue. Step 3. Read the first additional instruction. Do not move from your computer until the exam is complete and please do not access any other phones near you. Step number 4. Read the next tip. Make sure to have a good internet connection. Also, do not place the computer on your lap or tilt your laptop. Do not wear any hats and that should be proper lightning in the room. Again, turn off all the devices and any other applications near you. Step 5. It's time to smile again and take a photo. Click continue again. Step 6. Show your ID and click continue. Step 7. Environment check. Click start recording to record the area around the computer. Check the recording and click continue. The final step. Sit straight before the computer. Once the face detection is fine, click continue to start the exam. If the internet is slow, you get a message about the internet speed. We click on continue to exam. It's now time to begin the exam. Read the instructions, the timing and the number of questions. Please note, if there is any problem in the middle of the exam, you can log in again to continue the exam within the exam time limit. Your answers will be saved. 
A word of caution, do not click close window by mistake in the middle of the exam. Once you finish the exam, click on save and submit the exam. Click on OK to confirm that you have finished the exam. You also have to submit your exam feedback. Click OK to see the mark. You can see your marks now. A final advice, click submit only after you answer all your questions. All the best with your exams. Thank you very much.